everyone, this is Mark Finley from Fox Racing. We're out here at beautiful Zaka Station this morning. I uh, got super lucky with the weather, a little overcast. We're here for the MX-18 product launch. And what I really wanted to cover today are two main stories for our MX-18 line. Uh, the first one being our new MVRS technology on our premium V3 helmet. MVRS stands for Magnetic Visor Release System, and it is exactly what it sounds like. We've uh, taken our V3 helmet and come up with a new way that we felt we could manage rotational forces. And the way we wanted to do that with the visor system is we wanted to take the visor out of the equation uh, as, far, as far as like a lever effect when the rider may be contacting the ground. We want this visor to break away at the right time in the event of a crash. So MVRS is designed to do that for us. And the way it does it is simply with a magnetic attachment system. So if you saw uh, Ken Roxon's crash from Anaheim 2, uh, you saw Ken's visor break away as soon as he hit the ground. That's exactly what MVRS is designed for. Uh, all of our top riders, Ken Roxon, Ryan Dungey, and Chad Reed, were all equipped with MVRS starting from Anaheim 1 this past year. Um, we got great feedback, great real world testing with MVRS during Supercross, and this is the end result, the uh, magnetic visor system. That's our new MVRS system, featured exclusively on our premium V3 helmet. It was designed and engineered by Fox, and is exclusive on Fox helmets, so you will not see the MVRS system any, on any other helmet in the marketplace. So the next thing I wanna talk about, again, uh, is a focus on our hard goods here at Fox. This is our brand new uh, 180 boot in our range. So for us, our entry level boot is our Comp 5, our premium boot is our Instinct boot, which you would see our top level riders riding in. This is actually a brand new $250 boot in our range. Obviously it falls under Instinct, which is $550. A lot of the things that we did here um, were born from the Instinct boot. So first and foremost, we really wanted to capture the same fit and, and feel as an Instinct. So the fit around the ankle, the comfort uh, that everyone's come to love with Instinct was brought right into the uh, 180 boot. We built it right off of the uh, Instinct last, which is uh, the cast that you're building the boot around uh, at the factory level. So the fit around the ankle, the lower toe box design like an Instinct boot, even the buckle system. These two lower buckles are Instinct buckles uh, in the right places over the top of the ankle, over the top of the foot. The most unique thing about the 180 boot is actually the silicone closure system at the top of the boot. We realized at the top we were really just trying to seal the boot around your, your uh, pants, your knee brace, or your knee guard. Um, we, we know at the bottom is where you really want to get this thing tight around your ankle and over the top of the foot. The top of the boot, we really just want to get a nice seal and an easy way for a consumer to close this boot. So we're using a very high strength silicone material for the strap system. It's actually adjustable. So as you turn the shin plate inside out here, you have four adjustments. So to, it all depends on what type of uh, knee brace or knee guard you're wearing, but also your calf size. So this allows the consumer to adjust the strap length and very easily close this system right around the hook at the top of the boot. So that's exclusive on our 180 boot. That's that silicone closure system at the top. Some of the other key features about our Instinct that we wanted to bring into 180 is a really slim, flat medial design. We want to get the rider as close to the motorcycle as possible. So you see a nice flat design here, a rubber burn guard, rubber medial guard here on the inside of the boot to give the rider great grip on the side of the motorcycle. Like I said, keeping the rider close to the, boot, to the uh, bike as well. On the back of the boot, we're using a plastic uh, heel cap uh, Achilles cover here and then also a calf guard and this is what we're calling a floating cuff system in the middle here. So full plastic coverage on the back of the boot. Um, it also has a lockout system similar to an Instinct boot where your foot is allowed to flex forward but it will lock out before you get that hyper extension. So great coverage on the back of the boot as well and again with 180 this is our mid-tiered price boot in our range so it goes comp 5, 180, Instinct. So with our race wear this season, um, what you're really going to see is just great graphic updates to our three uh, lines of race wear. So we start with our 180 line. You'll see uh, that's our entry level product. Three great graphics in 180, multiple colorways. You'll move up into our 360, kind of our core uh, race wear in our range, which uh, obviously the pro circuit guys and our top level riders wear. Uh, you'll see three graphics in 360, uh, great colorways and options there as well. And then our premium line is our Flex Air. You'll see two new graphics in Flex Air, multiple colorways available there. And uh, so that really covers our key stories for the upcoming season. Obviously uh, with race wear, it's 180, it's 360 and Flex Air. Our two uh, premium hard goods stories that we talked about, V3 with MVRS, and then we have our brand new 180 boot, which is our mid-tier boot in our range. 
The entire line will be dropping next Tuesday, August 1st. So look for the entire range of product uh, at, our, at your local dealer or on foxracing.com. The V3 helmet will probably be available around 8.15, around August 15th. That 180 boot will be available around September 15th. But the entire racewear range will drop next Tuesday, August 1st. Thanks a lot for coming out, guys.